Hi, hello. Uh, today is my week 114 for my ear training. And uh, for today, uh, I tried to figure out this song called Hurt by New Jeans. It's, uh, it's a K-pop group. I'm quite familiar with them because my girlfriend really likes them. And uh, sometimes I do listen to, the, to them. I mean, once in a while, I kind of enjoy K-pop. Not once in a while. I enjoy K-pop. But anyway, um, for this week, yeah, honestly, I never really had a chance to practice with anything, even with my uh, uh, improvisation daily practice because uh, me and my girlfriend, uh, we've been away for like almost the entire week. So for this one, I kind of picked something a little bit easier, but turns out the, it's not really, I mean, it's still fairly easy. It's just the same chords all throughout from top all the way through the end. But there's this, there's this one chord that uh, kind of took me a little bit of time to figure out. But yeah, once I was able to figure out, I think everything just fall right into the place. Fall right into place, if that makes sense. But anyway, this is the song Hurt by New Jeans. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, the song is basically just repeating from top all the way to the end. I think it fits the, the four chords that I'm doing. So for this one, I think uh, it's in the key of F sharp. Okay, and uh, if you listen, the, 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 uh, the bass line goes like uh, F, and then F, F, to, uh, F sharp to, to F sharp, F, and then D sharp, and then it goes a little bit high with the, and then the bass line goes with uh, D sharp, E, F natural, and then from there it goes with F sharp, G sharp, E sharp. Okay, so once I was able to hear those basses, I was somehow able to figure out the chords right away, except for this bass line right here that part right there. So the bass line goes with Okay, of course, I mean, you can take it way lower, but I'm just taking it in a standard tuning. So uh yeah, okay. So chords are just a sharp major and then it goes so, so this is the one. Okay, and then it goes to 6. So let's see. Yeah, it goes to one F sharp major, and then it goes to six D sharp minor. And then this one kind of took me a bit of uh, time to figure out. Uh, it goes with this bass line, so it lands on that F natural, or let's say we can think of it as E sharp, since we're thinking in F sharp key. So, I mean, of course, if you think about the diatonic chords on that key, it's supposed to be diminished. So at first, I couldn't really figure out this chord, but turns out it's just F minor. So first chord again, 1, F sharp major, and then 6, D sharp minor. And then maybe we can think of it as 7, F minor. And then it goes down to uh, 3, which is uh, A sharp minor. And those are just the chords all throughout. So if you listen, it just goes like...
that's pretty much it. So, I mean, since the chords are fairly easy and probably, you know, I can like simplify this one right away. Uh, if you want to make the chords way simpler, you can, you can just put a capo on the first fret. Okay, and think about you're doing F chord, D minor chord, and then E minor chord, and then A minor chord. That's it. So, so. If you have a capo on the first fret, you can just think in the key of F instead of F sharp. So F, D minor, E minor, and then A minor. So for this one, maybe I'm just going to be playing everything with the capo. Uh, I'm going to be playing from the top all the way to the end. And then, uh, yeah, there are some parts here that maybe I'm not sure if they are doing a different chord, but again it kind of fits those four chords just over and over again so i'm just gonna be thinking that way but anyway here it goes i'm gonna be playing from the top all the way to the end <laughs> That's pretty much it. So again, just four chords. Uh, either you're thinking the key of F sharp without the capo, F sharp major, D sharp minor, F minor, and then A sharp minor. Or if with the capo on the first fret, it's just F, D minor, E minor, and then A minor. 
and uh yeah i guess that's pretty much it uh again even if i think those are the only four chords maybe there are some parts there on that song that they might be doing a different chord but i think you can survive with this song by just using those four chords yeah still i will never claim that i'm 100 percent right with any of these chords but maybe if you think i'm doing it right and if you think it's fine and if you think this will help you to figure out or play the song yeah just use this video i guess of course if uh there's any one of you out there who's watching this uh if there's any particular song you have in mind that uh let's say you cannot find any guitar tutorial or chord tutorial on youtube or you cannot find any chord charts or tabs uh at the internet or on the internet or in the internet don't hesitate to write it down in the comment section i'm gonna try my best to figure it out but then again like what i always say even if i try to figure out i will never claim that i'm 100 percent right to any of the chords that i'm doing but yeah i'm gonna try my best but please don't be like you know i think i mentioned this on some other videos before please don't try to say like can you please figure out all the things you are jazz standard played by george wilson on his live performance in abraham cathedral or whatever <laughs> if that makes sense i mean just keep it as basic as you can and uh yeah but then again that's pretty much it uh for this week again this is my week 114 uh yeah that's it bye